What's going on? Vinyl Potato here, the commentator, and this is some more gameplay from Aftermath, the latest expansion for Battlefield 3, but you guys already know that. This is some gameplay from Rush on a map. I don't remember what it's called, and I'm using the AUG Assault Rifle, which has recently become one of my favorites. Uh, this one and the AK-47 are kind of my go-to assault rifles as of recently, uh, kind of after the most recent patch. Um, there was a patch that came out about the same time as the Aftermath expansion, so it was kind of overlooked by some people. Uh, we're on version 1.07. There's quite a few tweaks to weapons and bug fixes and things like that. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of the patch notes. If you guys want to see something, you know, see those, then you probably want to just go to battlefieldo.com or BF3 blog or just look on on, on YouTube because I'm sure there's a bunch of other people who have done videos about all of the patches uh, and all the patch notes. But I want to talk about the AUG and a couple of the other assault rifles that they've tweaked uh, in this video. So, uh, one of the biggest things that they've been trying to balance ever since Battlefield 3 came out is the M16. It's always kind of been viewed as the most overpowered weapon, and they've, they've done a lot of tweaking to it. And then, most recent patch, they've kind of uh, buffed the M416 to make it a more viable option. Um, and that's kind of been viewed as the overpowered weapon this time around. So they did some tweaking to that, and now they've what they've done is they've increased the first shot and horizontal recoil of the M416 to try and make it a little bit more of a um, hard decision between that and the M16, which are you know very very similar assault rifles, kind of in the same category. Uh, I don't really like either of them to be honest, um, but uh, it seems like those are still the go-to assault rifles for most people. Maybe not for me, but. Anyway, they've also updated the L85. They've slightly reduced the horizontal recoil on that. I personally don't like this gun. It feels really clunky to me. I don't really know why. And it's also kind of bugged, at least in my experience, especially when you use something like a laser sight and an optic, say, for example, the ACOG. Uh, the laser sight will point in one direction, and the ACOG will point in a different direction. Or not a different direction, but at different points. And it's kind of hard to see exactly where you're aiming because you don't know which... Uh, of those uh, two red dots are actually showing you where you're aiming. So I don't know if that's just bug for everybody else or if that's just something for me, but anyway, that gun is just kind of weird to me. Um, and they've also updated the AUG by reducing the first shot recoil, and it really does make a difference in my opinion. They don't give us exact values when they when they do these patches typically. Um, they just say slightly reduced or you know something along those lines and to me it feels like the uh, the augs a lot more controllable a lot more easy to con a lot more easy to use and i've been using it with just no barrel attachments no heavy barrel anything like that i probably use like the laser sight or something like that cuz it's better than having nothing um, but it feels like you know that's kind of the way to go at least for the aug but i could be wrong it's just personal preference but uh, anyway they've also updated the famos that slightly reduced the horizontal recoil on that that gun just really doesn't uh, click with me, and with a lot of people, I think, as well. And the main reason for me is the reload tight. Oh my god, it's 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 unbearable. Um, the, the you know the fire rate on the thing is amazing. The recoil is is controllable, especially after this most recent patch. It's not way over the top. Uh, there's there is a lot of spread, and you know it's really just a good close range weapon. I mean, at, at longer ranges, it's kind of useless. But I don't know, that the reload time is like above, it's like 3.8 seconds or something like that. I don't remember the exact value, but it's one of the highest, if not the highest, assault rifle reload time. And it just, just takes forever. So that's kind of the only thing that really turns me off to that assault rifle. Uh, other than that, they've done a bunch of the patches to a bunch of the weapons, so I'm not going to talk about all of those. And there's also a bunch of bug fixes and things like that. But once again, if you guys want to see all the patch notes, you guys are going to have to find it somewhere else. Anyway, I uh, that's all I really want to talk about in this video. Uh, and I'll see you guys next video. Probably going to be more Aftermath gameplay because I am loving these maps. It's been a very, very nice refresh for me. I haven't really played Battlefield in, it seems like, over a month. Um, or at least more than a couple hours in the past month. So, anyway, I'll let you uh, guys uh, enjoy the rest of your evening or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.